is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up our WWE Elite Series 91 reviews on Austin Theory and Bianca Belair. Now, I think that this wave has done a fantastic job. I think it is a great wave through and through. And we are going to cover all of my thoughts about the wave and all of the different in intricacies of the wave as we develop our My Damn Thoughts episode for tomorrow. So you guys can get ready for that. Let me know what you think about that and all the good things. We're going to rank the set. We're going to do all those different things, man. But today, we're taking a look at the last two in the set. We have Bianca Belair. This is our second elite of her, I do believe. And then we have our first time in the line, Austin Theory. Now, I know he had two basics, but I'm talking about first time in the elite line, ladies and gentlemen, as we have Austin Theory here. Not the biggest Theory guy, but his figure looks pretty damn cool. Not gonna lie to you. And he's growing on me, so we'll see where that goes. But here's the front of the packaging. I think they both look pretty damn phenomenal. On the side, you get an image that you get on the front of the packaging. On the back, you get more images of them right here. You also get the bio read if you'd like to read it you can pause it now rest of the figures in the wave that we've already reviewed their names in a cool sportsy type font there true effects logos all the different things wwe logo of course up front and center and if you guys would like to grab these from ringside collectibles do so using code md toys don't use code free ship it'll take a month and a half to get to your door it's like they literally just throw it outside and it's like it'll make it to his house somehow so don't use code free ship use code md toys use priority shipping and you'll basically get free shipping but way way faster so with all those things being said man let's go ahead and crack austin theory and bianca belair out of their packaging all right, man, here's our last two figures in the set, Austin Theory and Bianca Belair. I was actually shocked by a few things about these figures, which we're totally going to get into, of course, right? We're going to break down all the details, get into all the things, but I was shocked by some stuff. It kind of caught me by surprise that some stuff I like, some things I don't like, and we're going to get into all those different things, man. But you guys can see here Bianca Belair out of, the, out of the pack there. I think this is her Royal Rumble gear, if I'm not mistaken. I'm very happy to have that gear. Looks like Austin Theory is rocking his, like, X-Men-inspired style gear you know with johnny gargano johnny football baseball basketball so we're gonna crack these guys out and we're well we've already cracked them out brad what, is, what the hell are you talking about but we're going to take a closer look at austin theory's accessories and austin theory then we'll run it back and take a closer look at bianca belair's accessories and bianca belair so getting into theories accessories man starting out with the vest this is a vest we've seen before this is the johnny gargano his mentor right we have his vest right here his entrance vest it has the same mold like the zip it reminds me a lot of the fan takeover maybe the elite 70 johnny gargano i think it was in the like Venom slash you know Spider-Man Carnage s gear with the, the like the symbiote overtaking the blue and the red, but you got the W up there. Got some arrows pointing down, some little abs chevron deals going on, some stripes there. You have like a city skyline. You got the W right there, kind of spray painted on. It has some nice texturing and stuff. It does buckle in the back. Very softer material. It's not like a like a super hard plastic or rubber. It feels very good in the hand, like it's flimsy. You know, and not flimsy. I don't think that's a good word, but it is like a pro appropriately, you know, uh, what's that freaking word? Malleable, I guess you could say, where it will allow you to put it on and off, so that is pretty cool, but you have those, and you also have the Ricochet, you know, shake your hand, Kawhi Leonard, massive style hands for his entrance, and you also get mic holding hands out of the packaging. We've seen this multiple times, no need to spend a ton of time on it, but there's the mic holding hands, and that, uh, that pretty much wraps up Austin Theory's accessories, man. Not a lot going on with it, but I do like the entrance vest. Considering what you get with a lot of other figures in this wave, it makes sense that Austin Theory for his first figure he's not going to come with a whole lot and that's what you get here so getting into austin theory starting out at the top of the head man this is a massive head man he has a big head it's just it, i mean you guys can see it across the board it's a big head and i actually compared it to his basic figure and it's the exact same head and it's the exact same size like there's no real differences here like i'm not noticing anything maybe a slight color variation on the sides but the size is the exact same it looks just like austin theory i love the head sculpt i think it's fantastic it's all the good things you love to see but it's way too big he he looks like a damn bobblehead, man. Especially if you zoom out, you can definitely notice it, which is unfortunate. But the figure from the neck down is damn good, man. I love the formula we're getting. They didn't make him too jacked. I think it's pretty much pretty freaking on. I think the arms are good size. I think they could go a bit bigger on the arms, to be honest with you, but I'm not going to deduct football points, as you guys know. I think it works out pretty good. I like that Finn Balor torso, double jointed arms look really good. The black wrist tape with the Austin Theories on the side. You guys can see there, it says Austin Theory in the script. On the tights, you do get 
these navy tights with the yellow logos on there. You got the W. You got some nice stuff working around. It says Theory on the back. Reminding me a lot of early era Randy Orton, right? It kind of has, you remember he had the, the navy-ish like satin or like kind of like patent leather looking tights and he had the yellow Orton and logos and stuff. That's a lot of what this attire reminds me of. But you guys can see there it has the Way logo. It has AT right there with the circle and then he has his standard black boots. Really like the formula they chose for this guy, man. He feels great in the hand. Great base for a creator wrestler. Great articulation. He is on ball joints. So you guys can get the splitsy there. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knee. I think these are old school Dolph Ziggler legs, man. So they really brought it together with this guy. He poses magnificently. The head is just oversized. So hopefully we'll get another basic of him or a elite in another line and they'll shrink the head down because it's definitely too big. But uh, I like the figure a lot. Like it feels really good in the hand. Like I said, he poses around good. I'm not the biggest awesome theory guy, but I know a damn good figure when I feel it. And this figure passes all of the tests except for the head scan size test. Like at certain angles, it doesn't look bad. Like I think right there, it doesn't look bad and all those different things, but it's definitely oversized. I'd say it needs to be shrunk down maybe 15, 20%. Here is his base basic figure that towers over him. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at that neck. Look at that neck. My God. It looks like he got put in a mutant lab or something. It looks like a damn Spider-Man villain. But uh, yeah, head, head scans oversized, but Jesus, man. He, he could just murder him. But damn. What a good Austin Theory. So for Bianca Belair's accessories, man, we do get a beautiful SmackDown Women's Championship that has like a nice gleam to it. It looks like you can see some gold sipping through the WWE logo, which I really like. I feel like we don't get enough of this championship, so getting another one here is very nice and appropriate, I think, plugging it in a Bianca Belair. Nice, long reigning Women's Champion. I, I like the, uh, you know, the SmackDown Women's Championship here. You got the white border. It looks clean. It's one of the cleaner titles in WWE right now. We also get her sunglasses, which do fit the figure pretty nicely here, you know, She's got like her Doc Ock-esque style glasses, right? You guys can see there, they got the black with the gold trim over there, which is pretty damn cool. I like that. And then another, except we've seen this mold pretty much with her last Elite and the Elite 81. Now, this is a really interesting technology. You guys see her big earrings here. You can actually remove them, and you guys will notice there is a peg hole behind her ear, which I really don't know if I like. I, I was interested to see how they attach these to the figure because I was wondering, I was like, how the hell are they getting those tiny earrings? You know, Bill was talking about them. I like the sculpt on them and everything, but like plugging them back into the ear isn't necessarily like hard to do, but you know, you just push it on there. But at the same time, it's very odd, like because like they look great on, like they look fantastic. I, I think they look fantastic on the figure, but I think removing them and having those holes behind the head, pretty noticeable, you know, I think even like a shot from behind, like it looks good. It really looks good. I think all those different things work out perfectly. It's just when you take them out and you have that big hole in the back of the head or two massive holes, it's it's a bit of a, of a weirdy, I think, but I like the technology. I think I like that they're trying out something new, but it's not my favorite. I think I'm going to keep the earrings on. I don't want to lose them and all those things, so I'm just going to keep the big hoops on there and kick everyone's ass. Now, as far as interchangeable hands go, we do get fisted hands. She doesn't have any nail polish on any of the hands. I don't know how accurate that is. I want to say she always has nail polish on, but on this figure, she does not. She, she also has the high five, you can't see me, wide open entrance hands, which have a really nice sculpt to them, which that's cool. We've seen these with Carmella and other figures and then out of the packaging she comes with mic holding hands so all that is good she's got a little tattoo right there didn't notice that but you get a decent amount of accessories definitely more than you get with Austin Theory but let's dive into Bianca Belair's figure itself so getting into Bianca Belair I love this head sculpt I thought this was a great head sculpt when it first was shown off I think the likeness is totally there uh, a lot of people are crapping on this head sculpt I really don't know why I think the likeness is definitely there I don't, I don't have any issues with it could it be better probably but it's not it's definitely not a bad head sculpt for anything but on the back you do have her nice long ponytail or braid if you like it and it's very nice i really wish we could get a bendy wire in this so you could pose it around more it's just like floppy which i don't like i wish it was in a bendy wire so you could pose it around you could keep you know you could like keep it in a certain spot and that way it would hold and beat the hell out of people with it we already covered the gimmick of the earrings but you guys can see there flashing it off you got like her comic book inspired royal rumble gear here with the est you got slay in the like comic book pow and wow and on him on a PS style going on there. I think that's what that's called. But got the lip logos, the stars going around. Really love the colors, like the kind of a non-saturated navy blue with uh, a lot of great colors, like Superman-esque with the comic book theme, kind of ties it all together. You do get the blue bicep bands. It looks like they weren't even blue. They were like all the different colors mixed together on the back of the packaging, but they just went with the flat blue. Not a huge deal, but it is definitely, you know, worth noting. She has the pinless double jointed arms, which are beautiful to see. This figure 
here could literally beat ass because it has, you know, it's got all the good articulation. She is on ball joints. Again, she could do the splitsies. She could do all the things you love to see. Only thing I do not like about this figure is the ab crunch, which we, you know, we've touched on with multiple WWE elite women's figures. But the boots, man, the boots have a wonderful sculpt. They have the, like, like straps going down. You can see all the different straps of the silver and red, but they're like basic boots. What are these, Bailey boots or something? There's no ankle rocker or pivot, and she doesn't have the toe hinge like she got on her last figure. Like, I understand the boot details and, like, changing it out because it's not completely accurate, but I think people would sacrifice a couple strap sculpts for some Ultimate Edition style boots like her other figure, which we're going to get into right now. So, if we uh, take a looky-looky over here, Austin Theory trying to get in the freaking review, you had your own damn review. Now give the lady hers. Idiot. Now, here is her other Elite. And you guys can see here, these boots are just phenomenal. I don't know why they didn't just put these boots on here. But the Elite 81 was a beautiful gear. White and pink, two of my favorite colors. So coming together in one gear. I know it's single jointed arms and stuff, but damn. These figures are good, man. Really, really good. I think that they're they're both amazing. Even though th this one definitely has the more superior tights. And possibly the more superior tire, depending on who you ask. Be cool to see an arm swap between the two. Get the double jointed arms on there. But I do like both these head sculpts. I like both the figures. They're both really, really good, and I hope we get more Biancas, and we definitely will get more Biancas, but I like the Elite 91 figure. I think it poses well, looks really nice, and it uh, definitely competes with the other. I think it, it's slightly better than the Elite 81, and the Elite 81 was one of the better figures of 2020. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to wrap up WWE Elite Series 91 and 91 Bianca Belair and Austin Theory. Overall, really impressed with both of these. I think they're two outstanding figures in the set. I honestly have zero clue how I'm going to rank this set. I, I really am baffled how I'm going to rank this set. It should be very, very difficult as we dive into my damn thoughts on tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that. We're going to rank this set. We're going to get into all the ins and outs of it, all the best and the worst of the set as we break it all down. But if you guys missed other reviews on the channel from that wave, RVD and Hogan, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, or this one, of course, you've watched it to the end, I guess. So, so a huge shout out to you. But this set's going to be very difficult to rank. We're going to get into it and all those different things. But very impressed by both, man. I think Bianca Belair, if you missed out on her first elite this is a must grab and the austin theory is really good i know we have like sort of a mountain or a or a freaking a, a head bobble head bobble head still stuff kind of going on with this figure which is kind of weird but at the end of the day very nice feels great in the hand poses very well looks like austin theory and it's a great base for a creator wrestler i think so those are some great things to take into consideration but if you guys want to grab these use code md toys at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com to grab them but that is going to wrap up the review man thank you guys so very much for watching let me know your thoughts on these figures down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like Austin Theory when he decided to hook up a air thing to his skull and blow his head up 60% oversized than it needed to be. You cross the line.